After months of warning, speed cameras are back in Baltimore City. The photo enforcement at school zones is bringing back memories for weary drivers who remember the failed program from a few years ago. WJZ is live along West Cold Spring Lane. Amy Yancey has more on day one of the enforcement. Hi, Amy. Hi, Jess. Well, the cameras have been flashing since this morning. This one behind me has been pretty busy. We've been also talking to people in the area. Depending on who you speak to, they don't all agree on whether this is a good return. These are some of the first drivers to be monitored by Baltimore's new speed cameras. Day one of their deployment brings back memories for some scarred drivers. Give me some of the money that they took from me the last time. Four years ago, the city deactivated its traffic enforcement cameras amid public outcry from drivers who successfully proved they were fined unfairly because of technical problems with the cameras. Millions of dollars and we didn't see anything that was done with it from the last time. I think it's a horrible idea. They said they fixed everything. They said the city's Department of Transportation spent years fine tuning the failed program, adding an oversight staff, checks, and balances. We're really after those people that aren't paying attention or that are driving aggressively. Now, seven school zones across Baltimore have active cameras during weekdays from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Welcome news to some parents. It would be safer for kids. Well, it's a good thing for us to be watchful for them. During the first 30 days, violators will get a warning in the mail. After the warning period, anyone caught speeding on these cameras will get a $40 fine. I'm not speeding, I don't mind. Soon, the city will roll out red light and commercial truck enforcement cameras in hopes of rolling back on reckless driving. I think safety is more important. I, don't, I would like the speeding to stop. Now back here live, the cameras are portable. That means their locations can change. If you get a violation, you can appeal it. Reporting live, Amy Yancey, back to you. All right, Amy, thank you. If you get a violation in the mail, you can challenge it online by mail or by going before a judge.